Hello DC fans, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. We just got our first look to DC's live action Blue Beetle suit and I am at a loss for words with how amazing this thing looks. So what I'm going to do here for you guys is not only showing you the suit, I'm going to be breaking it down, telling you my opinion on it, but I want to hear from you guys out there. What do you think of this live action Blue Beetle suit? Do you like it? Do you not like it? I'm actually going to have a hard time believing anyone dislikes this suit, but I'm sure there's always someone out there. Does this make you more hype for the Blue Beetle movie? Were you even looking forward to this film? Whatever it was, I want to know your opinions down below, but let's just go ahead and take a look at this thing. So this week DC fans thought the only close-up look we would get is of the Flash suit because there's currently a licensing expo going on right now where we got to see the Flash suit up and close and it looks all right but then out of nowhere set photos from the upcoming Blue Beetle movie landed online and oh I wish I was recording my first look at these photos because jaw to the ground I could not believe how perfect this suit looks. When I tell you I am absolutely stunned they went as practical as possible with this Blue Beetle suit, I mean it. I think the Blue Beetle suit was always going to be one of those difficult suits to bring into live action just because it's so tech based, very organic, it's supposed to be very fluid and transform into so many other things that Part of me thought they were going to go kind of like the Green Lantern or Cyborg route and just put Solo Maridueña into one of those ping pong suits and then just add on the suit from there. But no, they actually went ahead and built a Blue Beetle suit from the ground up and he looks amazing. We even got some shots here of him without the mask on and oh man, Solo Maridueña as Jaime Reyes looks great. The Cobra Kai star is really fitting into the role. As I'm showing you more looks at this, I just wanna go ahead and give another quick refresher to those who don't know about Blue Beetle. Jaime Reyes is a Hispanic kid who grew up in El Paso, Texas, when out of nowhere at the age of 16, he comes in contact with this blue scarab that although was found on Earth in the Middle East among some pyramids is of alien descent and is technically alien technology. The scarab latches onto the back of Jaime Reyes and dons him with the Blue Beetle suit. And from there, the suit just dons him so many other abilities like being able to create all sorts of weapons from his hands, energy projectiles, and even the ability to fly. And as I'm looking at this suit, guys, let me tell you, I see a little bit of that alien descent in there, particularly in the blacker areas where you can see a little bit more of detailing going on. That looks very alien-ish. So I like how they didn't just make that pure black black it's very well detailed but I just can't get over like how exact they got that mask and the emblem on his chest this looks directly pulled out of the comic book pages with very little stylization going on sometimes when they make these movies live actions they really want to go ahead and make it their own and separate it from the comic book but here I'm glad they took the inspiration from the comics it should also be worth noting that this probably isn't the complete version of the suit I'm sure they're going to enhance it with CGI give it a a little bit more of a glow and whatnot not that it needs it but at times blue beetle does have these tentacles or wings sticking out from his back so they could very well add that in post like if we actually go ahead and compare it to the concept art they released here to what the suit looks like now you can see some of those cgi changes they're going to add in post for one it's going to have some of that glowing effect whenever he's starting to charge up that's going to make for a really nice look and you can see on his back those sort of beetle legs i was talking about that should be sticking out that they're most likely going to be adding to make the suit feel a little more lively. It's just so awesome how good it looks before any of this extra stuff is added on. If we even look at this other photo, we get a little bit of a glimpse of what the scarab on his back is gonna be looking like, the thing that's the source of all his powers and is attached to his spine. The side profile and almost every angle of this suit is just really working for me. So now knowing they're gonna keep a lot of this stuff practical, it makes you wonder how they're gonna pull off some of the more CGI heavy things about this suit. Also gotta be prepared that sometimes they change things whenever movies come out. We see that the MCU does this all the time with their characters. If it doesn't fit exactly with what they wanna do in the movies, they'll change it up. But DC lately has been very comic faithful, so I doubt we're gonna see much change. What I'm mostly curious about is how they're gonna do the speaking movements, cause there's been times where Blue Beetle is able to have his mouth layered on top of his mask. We have seen that in the Injustice version of Blue Beetle, and even in the Injustice game, that looked very weird to me. It looks so unnatural and odd. It just a sobe to nivel. Sweet arm cannon. I got one too. So 
I kind of wouldn't be bothered if maybe they do an Iron Man thing and we see the inside of the mask or if he just talks without a mouth actually moving over the mask. I also got to say, I don't see any sort of CGI dots on the mask and whatnot. So that makes me wonder if they're even going to animate the face with this being a suit that's very organic and kind of lives and breathes with its host. You would want it to have sort of facial expressions like Deadpool, Spider-Man or any one of these other characters eyes. So maybe they will add expressionable eyes but even then I'm just so in love with this suit I wouldn't mind if they go a different route and just make it look this way now if we want to talk about the actual context and what is actually going down in these photos so this might be the first time Blue Beetle is discovering he has this suit going out and testing his powers because we get other shots here of him falling onto a car and smashing it this feels like your typical teenager testing out the suit and its capabilities and not being all the way perfect with it yet or this could be half of an action sequence and he's fighting something else that we're unaware of in these photos. There's been a lot of information about the Blue Beetle movie coming out, particularly cast members, but very little about the actual plot and what'll be going down. But if you know Jaime Reyes' story, it can be pretty easy to put together. We know the movie will be very big on family where people like George Lopez will be in here playing one of the relatives of Jaime Reyes. That's going to be awesome to see. And the current rumor is that Susan Sarandon will be playing the villain of the movie who is going to be Victoria Cord, the wife of Ted Cord, which is sort of an interesting twist if DC fans know, because Ted Cord was the Blue Beetle before Jaime Reyes. Because in the comic books, Jaime Reyes is the third Blue Beetle. He's the third one to don the suit and use the Blue Beetle's power. Most interesting thing about Ted Cord is that he actually never wore the suit. Instead, he would experiment on the scarab, learning its ways, using its energy to create his own gadgets that he would use to fight crime and create his own company, Cord Enterprise, which is in the concept art that was a officially released for this movie where the Blue Beetle Scarab is most likely coming from. So if you want to go ahead and start theorizing here, I'm assuming Ted Cord in this universe might be dead. We had recently had some rumors that Jason Sudeikis was going to be playing Ted Cord, but that's been debunked. So I'm assuming the wife wants the Scarab back because it's part of their company. It's what helps them keep in running and they don't want some teenager to have it, which would make her the villain of the film. Again, that's just speculation on my part. At the end of the day, we got to look at this suit. I think it looks really good. People are about to know the name Blue Beetle. He's going to become someone's favorite hero. And uh, the hype level through the roof after seeing this suit. I was so scared what they were going to do with it. But... I have all the faith in this movie now. So let me know what you guys thought of the Blue Beetle suit. Are you excited for this film? Do you think it looks good? After seeing this, I can see why Warner Brothers chose to put it in theaters instead of HBO Max. I want to know from you guys. Don't be forgetting to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.